Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam, question number 87 in Geometry Demystified, second edition. Please refer to page 370 for the question and page 369 for the relevant illustration, figure exam dash 19. I recommend at this time that you also watch the previous video for question number 86 because this one is very similar to that one, although I'm going to go at it just a little bit differently in this case. We have a point P in polar coordinates, mathematician's polar coordinates, the angle theta, 7 pi over 4 radians. That happens to be 315 degrees, and we know that because 7 pi over 4 works out to 7 eighths of a full circle. 8 pi over 4 would be 2 pi, that would be a full circle. So you can tell that 7 pi over 4 represents 7 eighths of a circle or just 45 degrees shy of a full 360. So theta equals 7 pi over 4. R, the radius, equals 3, the distance from the origin. What is the y-coordinate of this point? Remember, y equals r sine theta. That means the radius times the sine of the angle. Well, what is the sine of this angle? I worked out the sine of 315 degrees. Now, the y-coordinate is going to be 3 times the sine of 315 degrees. I worked that out with my calculator as 3 times minus 0 0.707 10678 rounded off to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight decimal places. You multiply that by three, you're going to get minus 2.12132034. Oh, well, that doesn't look like any of our answers, does it? Well, what I recommend that you do, and it's not cheating, uh, is that you just simply go through all five of the answers and work them out with a calculator and see which one matches that. When you do that, you're going to end up with choice E. Choice E minus the quantity 9 halves to the 1 half. That's minus the quantity 9 halves to the 1 half. Or the square root of 4 and a half. The negative of the square root of 4 and a half. Again, the answer to this question is E.